What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pigger, host of the Paul Pigger Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, what events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to a video of a cat named Cooley exposing the double standards of modern women. Before we do that, though, I want to give you a word from Dizzle Brand. That lit. That lit. That's slap. That's slap. It is that one. That one. Egg bite talking about this on new drink. They like that's that turn, that lit, that slap. It is that one. That hey, egg bite talking about this on new drink. They like they like you can dizzle too. This was a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave, tequila, cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your dizzle on ice and it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of dizzle premium luxury liqueur, go to dizzlebrand.com, click on the order online button on the home page that'll take you to Melio's Beverage. Also, you can click on our, our locations and there's actual store locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas as well. And don't forget, forget the Dizzle Brand merch as well is on dizzlebrand.com on the merchandise store. And it's also available on etsy.com as well. That's E-T-S-Y.com. Excuse me etsy.com search for dizzle brand or go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash dizzle brand also don't forget about the dizzle brand gummies now available in blueberry lemon and strawberry you can get those at dizzlenova.com i repeat dizzlenova.com link is in the description i just get into it coolly exposes modern women's double standards Okay, so here's a question. Uh, if your man woke you up at 2 a.m., he was hungry. He said, baby, can you cook me a meal? The question is, two questions. What meal would you cook? And then, well, well, first question is, would you even cook him a meal? Or be like, what, dang, I'm going back to sleep. Or, and if you would cook him a meal, what meal would you cook? Go ahead. So first... Would you cook your man a meal if he woke you up at 2 a.m.? Um, I think it should be, would I cook him a meal? Yeah, would you? That was the um, question, duh. Meal. I already could tell this ain't going to go right. Because he, he, he did say the same question, and she's like, well, I think the question should be, would I cook him a meal? He said that shit, bitch. No. Just be on, being honest. Of course. Just being honest. Hey. hey. Well, how long y'all been together? For a year. Hey, man. Get rid of her. Hey, listen, man. Uh, you, get rid of her. You need to do something right. Hit it right. Uh, get a better job. Make some more money. Something. Uh, but anyways, let's, let's move on. You said no. Just Gigi, being honest. Okay. If your man, if you was in a relationship and your man woke you up at 2 a.m., would yeah. you cook him a meal? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. yes. I knew you were. What 100%. meal would that be? Yeah, huh? What meal would Whatever that be? Whatever the fuck he wants. Like, I'm, I don't know. I just, like, I like spontaneous shit. Like, I like, like, ooh, like, little sleepover. Like, we wake up 3 a.m. She'll like, cook me a meal at 3 a.m. You know, like, if he wants a fucking sandwich, I'll make a sandwich. If he wants, like, chicken parmesan, let's make fucking chicken par. Like, let's okay, go. Like, okay, so you're going to cook I like this it. nigga a meal. Yeah. <laughs> little young buck. That's what it is. It's you like, got yeah. energy. Yeah. She 34 of it. She like, nigga, if I wake up at 2 a.m., <laughs> no, nah, it's going to be hard for me to go back it's to sleep, It's different, dog. too, because I work a full-time job. I'm a full-time mother. You yeah. ain't waking me up. I... Excuses, 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 excuses. It's all about her, 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 her. That's what it's all about. That's all she's saying. It's all about her. No okay. time of the night so to it's make little, shit. It's a little different for you. <laughs> that makes sense. I was being real. Um, What about you, Kiki? No, she's being selfish. That's what she's being. It all depends on how I'm feeling, how much sleep I done got. Oh my God. Okay, so it depends. And then I'm going to go to the real basic, you know, shrimp Alfredo, call it a night or a morning. <laughs> it's a morning. She called. Hold up. She called shrimp Alfredo at 2 o'clock in the morning, the real basic. Real basic would be make a sandwich or... You know, something of that nature, or make them some, make them some eggs and bacon at two in the morning. Cause that's the thing; you can eat breakfast at any time of the day. But she said shrimp 
Alfredo is the basic. Um, I don't know if I want to wake up like two in the morning. I don't know if I want shrimp Alfredo. First of all, I don't know if that sounds right. That's not pretty basic for two o'clock in the morning. Shrimp Alfredo. What he- <laughs> but but I will say this oh, before you finish this. If you cook, if if I wake you up two o'clock in the morning and say I'm hungry, and you cook me shrimp, shrimp Alfredo, I have to say you're going above and beyond. What if he want a burger? Grill me a burger. I was like quicker. Huh? Like quicker, yeah, we could do that. Okay. Depending how I feel though, how Depending, I feel about but, you that but, day. Wait, hold up, hold up. Depending on how she feels, so she might not feel like cooking a burger, but she feels like doing shrimp alfredo which definitely is going to take longer you got boil the noodles you gotta get the sauce hot the shrimp more likely is already going to be poorly cooked and you just got to throw it in the sauce unless she's uh doing raw shrimps which i seriously doubt it'll probably be fully cooked shrimp i mean yeah you and to be honest with you, like, what about garlic bread? Can I get garlic bread with my shrimp alfredo? If I want shrimp alfredo, I want garlic bread on the side. So she might as well just cook a burger or something. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, I don't know, man. Just just make me some bacon and eggs and some toast, which I could really do myself. And that's the thing. Like, man, I don't really know how I feel about this. I really don't because I just couldn't imagine myself having to wake somebody up at two o'clock in the morning to cook for me. I, I really couldn't imagine that. I would feel pretty, pretty pathetic. I think I'd be, I, I feel pretty pathetic and, and weak as a human being in society, you know? It's one thing to have your old lady, you know, cooking regular breakfast, you know, lunch and dinner. The typical standards for a traditional one. But uh, two o'clock in the morning, if I'm hungry, to, and that's the thing. Normally, if I'm, I'm hungry two o'clock in the morning, I'll probably just make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something. To be honest with you. So it depends on how you feel. Yeah. Okay, so you said, no, you're not cooking no meal. You said, yeah, I cook this nigga whatever you want. And you said, it depends on how I feel. Yeah, if I'm now, like real drained. And- we gonna move it right along to Allie. <laughs> Allie, uh, if you're a man, if you're in a relationship, you woke you up at 2 a.m. I can already tell you, I can answer for you. By the way she's smiling and the way she's looking, I guarantee she's gonna say no. But I could be wrong. But I guarantee she's uh, gonna say are no. Are you cooking them a meal? All right, it depends. Oh, oh you would no, love I do it. I knew it. No, that's a no. That's a, when it, you say it depends. You, that's a no. I, I don't want to hear it depends. That's horseshit. It, it's it's a it's food a no. or like how he was that day maybe. Okay. And probably no. Okay. <laughs> maybe like maybe. like I said, I guarantee, guarantee. It's a no, and it's a no. She could stop beating around the fucking bush. You know, this is the problem with society and relationships right now. Nobody on the planet is really honest anymore. Like, like how many people on the planet is honest? Uh, uh, very few. Especially when you got liberals out here, you know, telling people that speaking honesty and telling truth and speaking facts is hate speech but uh yeah i already knew it it's a no stop beating around the bush maybe a little snack you know but like i'm not cooking you a fucking meal wow okay so <laughs> like, all right not cooking a meal what about you natasha have i man no we could, we just general because okay. you're not in a relationship now what fuck it? what podcast was this bitch just on this this bitch said, have I? They've been asking the whole time, will you? And she says, have I? I question what's in between the ears of these chicks, man. I really do. I really do. She has nothing but air between her head, head to her ears. 
for the whole time. They asking, will you? And she says, have I? No. So if your man uh, woke you up at 2 a.m. Um, and asked you to cook him a meal, would you cook him a meal? No. Just I don't say know. It, it depends. No. It really, it oh really does That's depend. No. If so you, you take care of me. No, no. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's the thing. See, another depends, which is basically a no. She's about to go in. If you take care of me. I take care of you, which means if you make over a hundred thousand dollars a year, you pay for everything I want, then I might cook you um, breakfast at two o'clock in the morning. But you got to do it first. See, that's this is the this is the I want to get respect before I give it mindset. That's what this is. I want to get respect. I want to get taken care of. Before I reciprocate mindset. Yeah, if you and you're actively taking care of me, then yeah, I'm gonna take care of you. Okay. At two o'clock in the morning, you're pushing it, but wait, wait. So he's taking care of you across the fucking board. Across the fucking board, and he's pushing it. You know, I almost was going to side with these bitches. Cause I was like, damn, I would feel like a Pathetic fucking man if I couldn't cook my own food at 2 o'clock in the morning. And if I'm hungry at 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm just going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or just make a sandwich anyways. Like, if you're waking your chick up at 2 o'clock in the morning to make a sandwich, you're fucking pathetic. You're fucking pathetic. You're, you're, she needs to get rid of you. Now... Not all dudes are really, like, the chick talking about cooking shrimp Alfredo. I will say not all dudes are masters of shrimp Alfredo. So you might need your old lady to cook shrimp Alfredo for you. Some dudes can't even cook a fucking burger right. So they might need a, a woman to cook their burger for them, too. I know that for sure. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of depends. Depends, depends, depends. Hell no. One hell yes. It depends on the situation, then yeah. No, it doesn't depend. He's paying all the rent, all the bills, putting all the clothes on your back, your nails, your hair done. Hair done, hell done, hair, hair done, nails done, everything did. And you're like, ah, oh, you know, it, it depends. It depends. These are some selfish ass bitches, man. Some selfish, greedy ass bitches. Except for that one. Depends. Okay, so we got three depends. One Which are no. Knows. No, 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 no. Let's let's no no bullshit. We got three depends which are no's. So we got four no's and one yes. And one yes. Wait, can I say one more thing? Oh sure. Like he just has to come in the kitchen with me though. Like he got Oh hey, that's fine. That's fine. I like yeah, hey. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, damn, he shouldn't he shouldn't expect to just wake you up at two o'clock in the morning while he just lays in bed and you get up and go cook. Yeah, I, I'm with that. I'm with that. That's cool. Like keep me company. Like I wanna like like we okay. could like be silly or whatever, you know? Fair enough. Yeah. No, she's she's she sound like a ride or die. She sound like a ride or die. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So here's that's a statement, fair. right? That's fair. Uh, no, here's a, another question. If an intruder. All right, now here. I don't normally react to these videos about relationships. I'm not a relationship guru. I hate relationships. I'm a laws of nature guy. I think that's part of why mankind just is, you know, doesn't fit with this planet. It's because we don't follow the laws of nature. No other animal on this planet, no other species on this planet feels the need to have to procreate and have a relationship with just one of the same species forever. Nick Cannon is totally right on this. Not that it's just some Western civilization made up shit. It's some man-made shit. Man, it's man-made. It's woman-made. It's feminist and then invented this shit it doesn't 
align with the laws of nature relationships do. But this is where the double standards are about to come in. And this is why I'm reacted to this because there's nothing more on this planet than I dislike. I don't like using the word hate, hate so strong that I dislike the hypocrites and double standards. Broke inside the house. <laughs> would you or would you not expect your man to go downstairs and handle that break at the door starting with natasha absolutely ali yes kiki all i'm saying is if you don't it's over after that like you're tripping gg yeah, you gotta worry about like me, yeah but together like we'll go together thank you uh <laughs> <laughs> okay you're gonna go with the dude uh and yourself um I, yeah, no. I would expect that. But I have, I have, I have okay, a so, lot of security. So, so this is what I hear when I, I hear this. That right? This is what I hear. Here's a statement, right? What I've heard was that a woman's duty is, you know, if I feel like it. Well, I'll I'll cook you a meal. Like her feminine duty, her wifey duty is based off her feelings, right? But the man's duty of protecting you, it's mandatory, right? <laughs> So, 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 let me finish. I have so, not. No, no, you know what we call that? We call that a double standard hypocrites. And you know what? Only one of them kept it real. These are some selfish ass greedy bitches. I called them exactly what they were, bitches. These bitches is going to probably be lonely for the rest of their lives. They're not going to be able to keep relationships and hold down relationships. Like, this is such a double standard. You expect me at 2 o'clock in the morning to get up, possibly die protecting you, and you won't even cook me fucking breakfast at 2 o'clock in the morning. If them bitches got men right now, all they boyfriends need to dump them right now. Right fucking now. These are some selfish ass bitches. And this is what's the problem with the modern women. There's so many problems with the modern women. First of all, they all say, you know, or, or not all, let me let me phrase it. Not all. But the majority of modern women say they want a man that makes six figures or more. Well, they must not know shit about fucking math. They know nothing about math to own on six figures or more all the time and not knowing that it's 10% of the fucking men in the world. So you got like 99% of modern women, modern women, I ain't talking about traditional women like my sister who her husband, yes, yeah, she works, but her husband's breadwinner, day relationships, traditional. She's pretty much taking care of the kids throughout the day. He's working uh, putting the food on the table, roof over the head, upgrading the roof over the head, starting a business, you know, making life so much more comfortable and better for them. And she's there every step of the way, teaching the kids right from wrong, how to be decent human beings. Greatest parents I've ever seen. Traditional woman, traditional man. Would never have to put my hands on my brother-in-law ever. These bitches nowadays, they're delusional. Because they all want they own men that make six figures or more. They want to be like six foot, even when they're like shorter than me, I'm five foot four. And they like five two, five foot four with heels. And they be like, I want a man who's six foot, six figures. Everything's about six. Six inches or more. You know, they want six figures, six inches or more, six foot. Yeah, okay, guess what, ladies? Guess what? Duh, you got two share. You bitches is going to have to share if that's what you want. You're going to have to share 10% of the fucking men. And 10% of the men ain't going to have that in that categories of six figures or more are not going to have a problem, you know, being shared by multiple women. You're so delusional. They think they can find their own individual man that makes six figures. And, and, and that's the thing. And they want to shit on men 
that don't make six figures and act like they can't be in a relationship with them. But well, guess what? You stupid, selfish bitches. Um, that's 90% of the fucking men. Like feminism has made modern women so delusional. It has poked a hole in their head and air is seeping out all the common sense that they might have had if they even had any in the first place. And these double standards, they're just so hypocritical, man. It's so, so it's, yes, yes, it's a man's duty to protect his woman if somebody breaks in the house. But now, like, I can't even side with these women when they have such a double standard. Listen. It's a life or death situation. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, no, oh, my stomach up. is a life yes. or death situation. No, yes. no. Thank you. No, yes, yes. Because you could die from fucking starvation. See, you know, these bitches think it's apples and oranges because you could die right in that moment. Well, guess what? If if I constantly stop eating, I can die too. Starvation is can be a cause of death. So let's not, you know, a cause of death is a cause of death. We can say, hey, you know, murder is far more egregious than, you know, dying of starvation, which I don't know if it is. I don't even know if it is. Dying of starvation, um, I think I'd rather get murdered than die of starvation. That seems like a very painful way to go. You know, but yeah, these these I'm hungry, baby. Fix me a meal. I need a sandwich. I need a sandwich, turkey and cheese with a soda on the side. But listen, let me hear this out, right? So the woman's duty is uh based off your feelings oh I'll, it depends on how i feel that day i'll wake up in the morning yeah because i guarantee a man ain't got time to get in his emotions and feelings when somebody breaks in the fucking house at two o'clock in the fucking morning he ain't got time to be in his fucking emotions he's got to fucking react this is just Complete double standards. At 2 a.m. and cook your sandwich. But if an intruder breaks inside the house, you expect 100% for your dude to go down there and handle that situation. So, so how honest, is that a fair deal for the man? Because, to be honest, one I is don't, a life or death situation, not. and one is just like... They both can like be life or death situations. Like, wait, 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 wait. What wait, I hear is... If I haven't eaten in a fucking week and I need a fucking meal, that's a life or death situation. You know, is that you want your man to adhere to his traditional values of protecting you, but you don't want yep. to adhere to your traditional values, your feminine traditional values, and cooking your man some food. That's what I hear. And it doesn't seem like a fair deal for the man. <laughs> Can I talk? <laughs> Go ahead, Ali. These are so different. Like, yeah, the one is like, not, the the one is like you're both about to die, maybe. Right. And uh, if you don't, and the no, other one is you might not. No, eat. Not. So, so like, that's not the same. No, First of all, if he doesn't want to go, I'll dinner? go. What if like, you cook whatever. Dinner if you want to be a little bitch, that's I'll go for you. That's not the point. No, she won't. Ladies, you're thinking too much. Cap, a hundred percent cap. She talking about you don't want to go. I'll go for you. You want to be a little bitch? A hundred percent cap. That is complete horseshit, complete bullshit. She's just trying to look good. She's trying to save face because she got caught out as a hypocrite. She got caught out on a double standards because what I'm seeing right now is five women. One chick is honest and real, and the rest are a bunch of double standard self selfish, greedy, hypocritical bitches. In it. You're thinking too much in it, right? Cause exactly we expect men we expect you to adhere to your feminine traits at all you know all, i hate to cut off again all this boils down to is women expect men to be traditional but we shouldn't expect them to be traditional they don't it, it's a double standard they don't have to be traditional but they expect us to be traditional. Still hold the door. Don't put hands on a woman. But oh, a woman can put hands on a man and double standards. 
hypocritical moments. Times when we hungry, we want food, right? That's what we want. When we just finished working out, come in. You know, when I enter the house, smile at me, greet me with a nice warm gesture, rub my shoulders, cater to your man. That's what we want. That's what we expect, right? But it seems like unrealistic expectations because y'all don't want to do it. But on the opposite end, the man, he is expected to always adhere to his masculine duty and to protect you at all times. How is it a fair deal? It's not. It's not. Go ahead, it's, a, it's a terrible deal. That those it's, were just it's the worst. No, it's the worst deal on the planet. It's the worst deal on the planet. It's, it's, it's the most selfish deal, the most double standard deal. It's the most hypocritical deal on the planet that a man could ask you to cook him something for two o'clock in the morning. And it depends on how you feel, but he don't got no depend on how he feels when somebody breaks in the house at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and, you know, and I don't even got to hear no more from this. I really don't. It's complete double standards, complete hypocrisy. Um, the problem is, is women is all about these two words. I want, I want, I want a man who makes this. I want a man who's this tall. I want a man who does this. I want a man who does that. I want a man. They got this laundry list. We just want. A woman that we can get along with, typically. A woman that we're attracted to and get along with. Men are simple. A woman we're attracted to and get a get and can get along with. We never care about, oh, you know, uh, I want a woman to be six foot or she's got to be five foot five. I would date chick shorter than me, taller than me, fatter than me, skinnier than me. You know, I don't care about how much money is in her pocket. But I never care about where a chick works. I date a chick at McDonald's. I just won't date a chick that has no job. That's the thing. I date a chick that works any job. Just she can't have no job. You know, but I don't care about how much money. I never ask a, I've never asked a woman before that I've dated, like, how much money you got in your pocket? Or how much money you got on you? I never cared. Never cared. I never even think about like asking a woman to pay for dinner, movies, anything of that nature. She want to offer, hey, you know, that's different. But yeah, man, I'm seeing nothing but double standards. And no, I'm not the relationship guru, but it, it, it only takes common sense and common knowledge to understand that was a complete double standard. You want me to almost die protecting you at two o'clock in the morning, but you can't even cook me breakfast. It's not even about him saying that I could starve to death or I could be starving. You know, you could die from starvation if you ain't, you know, what if I ain't ate in like mad amount of days and I need something to eat right now? You're going to be like, oh, it depends on it. Depends on how I feel, you know, if my period's on or not. Yeah, man, I'm seeing a lot of double standards. And I think these double standards are going to come back to bite these modern-day feminist women in their ass. They're already starting to come back to bite them in the ass. That's why they're allowing men to compete in sports. It's going to allow it because, you know, modern women enable this delusionalness, these delusions, this non-reality i mean that's just not reality that's a delusional way to think that he a man's supposed to protect your life at two o'clock in the morning but you can't cook him breakfast man that's really a delusional way to be fucking thing it's really selfish it's really greedy it's all about me 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 so once again i want to thank you for tuning in to the paul pickett podcast and once again Oh. Uh -huh.